Hello, 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 everybody. It's your boy, J Malls of J Malls Gaming here today. Because we're back with some Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Mainly because I need to knock some of these series out. Because I need to start up an Elden Ring playthrough soon. Yeah? Little. Little something something there. I need to do a new game for Elden Ring. So. I say, this may be the penultimate episode for Xenoblade 1, or at least for the main story. We will be doing post-game for this series. So, like, for all the other final, all the other Xenoblade games, we are doing post-game. Like, I'm, I am going for 100% playthroughs here. I want to do everything. That's at least reasonable. Like, collecting every item in the world I could, get, I could give less than two shits about. I want to do everything that's reasonable. Though. All the challenge modes, I want to level up all the characters, play with them, all of them. It's the kind of stuff we want to talk about. Hello, 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 JJ. Welcome to the stream of a good day. Always a pleasure seeing you around. Hello, 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 Mario. Welcome to the stream of a good day. Always a pleasure seeing you around. Hello, 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 Arian. Welcome to the stream of a good day. It's always a pleasure seeing you around. Hello, 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 Jared. Welcome to the stream of a good day. It's always a pleasure seeing you around. My throat's a little bit sore. Today's been a bit of an... A, f a festive day. Uh, festive, sarcastically. Basically a bunch of paperwork BS. But yeah, we're here today with some Xenoblade Chronicles 1. And we're gonna try and get through a lot. I mean a lot, and I mean a lot of the story today. And of course, I fell down here yet freaking again. It's a no pun tell, huh? <laughs> Elder, let's make some Mio and Rani jokes. Yeah, when I first played Elden Ring, I did go for the Mio route. I didn't even realize. I'm just like, ooh, Dark Moon Greatsword. My guiding moonlight. Let's go. So yeah. I want to focus... I want to beat Xenoblade 1 relatively soon. Probably within the next two streams. So this one, maybe one more, depending on how long it takes. I think we're, near, we're pretty near the end. And also, I want to do... Skyward Sword. We're gonna bring Skyward Sword back with a vengeance. Are you all set to go, mate? You're headed to the Makonis Core. You better be ready. Ready to shove off. Let's go. Take me away to the Makonis Core. God, the Makonis Sword, though. I went there in Xenoblade 3. No, my farm spot. To mine eyes, deceive me. You know what? Even if they weren't, I would not be there. I'd leave. I'm warning you. You better not drop me. Let me go, and you'll be doing sit-ups for the rest of your life. God, I love Vanguard. I'm telling you, we need a collab, or at least a game where the entire party are Vanguard and Vandoms. Gurnica, Vandom from Xenoblade 2, and Vanguard, I'm just saying. And Vandom from Xenoblade X, I'm just saying. That's a party right there. That's a squad I can get behind. Again, maybe don't stand in the way of the giant Makana's sword. Mo maybe move. Five feet either direction. Just get out of the blast radius. Hello, 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 Esther. Welcome to the stream. Over a good day. I was glad you're seeing you around. Yeah. Unf Bit of an unfortunate circumstance there. That guy. I have didn't, I didn't watch the Pokemon Presents, though, because... Not too big on Pokemon anymore? Oh, hi, Vanilla. I am sorry. For Lady Mayna's will to be realized, I had no choice but to use your body. I mean, you could have asked first. Actually, I'm grateful. Uh, actually. Thanks to this body, I got to see Shulk and the others again. And I'm a giant robot now. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Where is Lady Maynath now? I don't know. 7-Eleven? Shall I call her? She is usually asleep. Maybe she just doesn't want to disturb me. It's an unusual feeling. Maybe she's like, you know what? I used your body long enough. Here, let let me put let me keep you in control for a bit. It's not every day you get to experience something like this. I see. That is a great relief. It's as if I can see into our heart. Oh uh, yeah, we call that heart surgery. Feels like there's a part of my heart that's hidden. 
It's the part that holds Manus' feelings. And I can't see them. Maybe it's only natural. Everyone has one or two secrets, right? Nah, but open no book over here. About this world. That's why I'm happy to let her use my body. Fiora, I think Lady Maynath is glad that she met you. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm really glad to be stuck in this body. I mean, the old one was preferable, but I'm glad I'm stuck here. Yeah, I know. Okay, there we go for future thumbnails. Oh, the battle music. Let's go. Big mech battle. Let's go. Oh, bob and weave, bob and weave. Okay, expert dodging over here. Bullet hell player. Absolutely. Mikkel has played all the bullet hells. Oh, the, okay, never mind. He's getting hit. Man did not play all the bullet hells. He's actually doing the opposite of what you want to do. He's getting hit. That's funny, Jed. I did not know that. Realize Fiora is in the exact same situation as Pirate Mitha. In a way, yeah. Glad to hear it. Hey, Alvis, you want to do something? I don't know, bring out Germanado and help us fight? No? Okay, Pogus. Yeah. I'm sure that's all we can do, Elvis. You sussy, sussy, sus. I'm sure all we can do is hope. We won't let him down. This is one fight oh yeah, it's Vine time. Here upon Ricky, all set. Ricky found some heads. <laughs> Will I see Jamal's rage at a boss? I have been Elden Ring before. I have done one playthrough of it, but I have not been every boss. We'll be fixing that in the new playthrough, though. We're going through every boss, people. Every boss. We'll go with you. Haven't done more than ever done the Dragon King. Really? God, though, I'm not looking forward to Renala. That boss fucking sucks. Okay. Well, we're back here, though. What's this? The old fossil wants to tag along. As long as you don't slow it. Oh yeah, I'm sure Dixon wants to tag along. Uh huh. I'm sure he does. Hmm. Hey, Dixon, why do you want to take along? Huh? Any reason there? You want to help us? Want to be on our side? Uh, let's see who makes it through that battle. Oh, we'll see, Dixon. Don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. I got a Monado Buster with your name on it. Freaking bootleg rocket power looking jabroni. You cannot tell me that guy does not look like he would be, he would be right there. In all of the rocket power misadventures. Oh? The dive? Giant mouth beam, let's go! Oh my god, it's like the Matrix. Hell, this is Renato. <laughs> the Shulk Sword. Elden Ring bosses. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I still haven't decided... The struggle of an Elden Ring boss fight? Oh, don't worry. I know the formula for them. I will say, the I'm not that big on Elden Ring boss design compared to the other Souls games. But, I want to give it a second try. See if my a new playthrough will change my experience or anything. I haven't decided we're going to do New Game Plus or just do a new save. We might do a new save. Because my original playthrough is kind of busted right now. Ready. Anytime. Oh yeah, anytime, mate. Leave it to Hirobon Ricky. No. <sighs> Ricky the goat. Hey, Shulk. What is it this time? Stop worrying and come on. No, I can't move because my sword is clipped into the ground. It's like Excalibur. I can't move it. The Monado isn't at full strength. I don't know if it can beat Egil. You talking about that apocryph whichama call it thing? Yeah, that thing's I'm that thing precisely right. Name as well. Together. At least the previous encounter allowed us to gauge how he fights. We won't make the same mistakes again. Yeah, we'll do more damage this time. The core is directly linked to the apocrypha generator. Destroy the generator, and the apocrypha field will deactivate, allowing Shulk's Monado to function properly again. 
Hey, this glowing blue and made purely of energy. Yeah, it's not at full strength right now. It's only at Minato 3. Need, we need Minato 4. Now you tell us. I wish you'd said something earlier. Shulk always has something on his mind. Man looks like Eminem before he writes a sick verse. Oh, Shulk, did you hear that? <laughs> looks like you'll get your wish. He just thought five bars in the future. Something's not right. You think, Shulk? What? Egil. He called me Zanza. The same Zanza who... Devastated Mechonis. I remembered my first playthrough of Xenoblade 1. I'm like, you only took it this long to realize that? I had... I called that out immediately. Why did he call you Zanza? What did he mean? Yeah, what did he mean, Shulk? He was just trying anything to you want to tell us, mate? Yeah, anything you want to let us know about? I told you before, right? You harbor some deep, dark I secret there. It could be useful, for, useful in the future. If we had known about it. Yeah. Okay, fair enough, Ryan. Apparently you are. But I still know... If I concentrate, I feel like something will happen, and it does. We're going to see Adam Howden peak voice acting soon. That's every line for Adam Howden. Are you saying you don't need a vision to know what comes next? Pull the other one. <laughs> okay, I'll pull the other one. Ryan, you're going to scratch your head with your right hand. <gasps> <laughs> okay, to be fair, though, he was doing it already. So is it really predicting the future or just being observant? Man can smell his surroundings. What are you on about, Shulk? Stop playing around. Play some Nintendo Switch instead. Nintendo, hire me up. Yeah, marketing oh. right here. But how did you do that? It's like you can see. I can't work it out. Ever since we came to Mechonis, my abilities have been changing. Why would that happen? Good, get my ass with Numenado on. On the double, let's go. Gaming, true Hydro. Hello, 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 Hydro. Welcome to the Woman of Good Day. Always wait to see you around. To lay waste to Mechonis, then Shulk right traded his visions for Ultra Instinct. True. We even got a blue sword. Is what I'm trying to do really the right thing? Just don't listen to the voices in your head, true, Esther. Shulk. Oh. Who's ready for peak Melia sadness? Who's ready? Yeah, who's ready for peak Melia sadness? Okay, first we gotta get through this like this torture scene with Shulk. Shulk, you may wanna Have you ever thought about not getting shocked to death? Dang, that scream though. Dang. I wanna know the voice direction in the studio. It's like, okay, how do we get Adam to make this sound? Okay. okay, everybody, bring out the nail gun. Okay, Adam, dodge this while you scream into the microphone. He'll be fine, yeah. Walk it off, it's easy. Are you sure you're okay? Are you sure you're okay? The man just got electrocuted for about 20 seconds straight, Dunban. Maybe, just maybe, he needs a heal. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't get shocked at that. Up, you've got to spit it out, man. Yeah, I can't just spit out lightning. About I mean, whatever's on your mind. He's not Eminem here. Sorry, Ryan. Don't go apologizing. It's my fault for not noticing. My fault for not noticing. You're getting electrocuted. I've still got your back. Okay, Ryan. Pro advice here. The man who just got shocked to an inch before death, maybe don't hit his back. Just maybe give him some room, some time to readjust to this new voltage going through his veins. I'm just saying. It's a completely different kind of power. When Shulk loses the arm. Maybe. Meanwhile, Vicky's just ba back there saying literally nothing. Happening to me. You're digivolving, Shulk. You're digivolving. Must have been tortured from those screams. Dude, rip Adam Howden's voice after that, by the way. That man probably had to, like, drink all the tea with honey. Exactly. Shulk and Ryan are the best bromance in this game. True! Best, best Xenoblade friendship, in, in my opinion. And we don't know what kind of toll it'll take on Shulk's body. We have to destroy that generator. Yeah, you think, Shala? Shulk, there's a strong energy coming from up ahead. That has to be it. Really? Yeah, really, Ryan, really. 
Hello, hello, hello. He's an army. Welcome to the stream. Having a good day. Always pleasure seeing you around. Hello, hello, hello. New bean. Welcome to the stream. Having a good day. Always pleasure seeing you around. Yes. Put some icy heart in that wound. Huh. Then this is it. Eggle's gonna be. If we just wrap Shulk and rub it, we'll be fine. Like how? Mm-hmm. Like all the guests we have, and we can't play as any of them. Okay, we gotta go this way. Oh god, the visuals here. I forgot how pretty this area is. God, look at the scale of it. Mmm. So good. Well, I want that item that I'll never use. Angel Engine X. Sounds like something that was used to create the Powerpuff Girls. Playing Bayo because I don't want to do the skill license honestly mood. You can bang out the skill license in like two hours of gameplay, but it is a bit of a grind. Thankfully, the flying thing is like, go kill four... Go get four items from a couple of mob spawns. Yo, thanks to the... Whoever made the Makanas have this giant bridge for me. Thanks, appreciate it. It's just as I thought. The Monado. The Monado feels the same as it did before the Apocrypha took effect. No. It feels even more powerful. Hell yeah, give me that buff. The Bionis Monado. And this Monado. They have to be connected. Somehow. Because you aren't here. Not anymore. Oof. Why am I remembering that dream? Why now? Okay, Titus. <sighs> Without the power, I can't stop Egil. I have to concentrate. All I have to think about is how to stop the Mechonis. By stabbing the it does in the face. Egg. Then I know what to do. Fiora. Sure. Fiora, where'd you come from? What were you thinking about? I was talking to myself. So, it's like that, is it? Oh, no. We all know what's about to happen, right? We all... Listen, hey, mail your fans in chat. You may want to cover your eyes. Avert your gaze. Talk to me. Huh? Fiora. You can tell any of the others as well. We're all here for you. Oh, no. Don't forget Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. You're here for me. Of course. And Millie's about to be in shambles. It, okay. We all saw what happened. Is your arm okay? I think we just cut yeah. Fiora in half with the it's Monado there. I think that's what just happened. Oi, you two. Oh no. Oh no, it's no, about to happen. It's nothing. No, it's nothing. Like Melia's love Come life on. here. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oh no. Watch everybody. You can look at you can see the exact moment her heart rips in half. Sure. Boom. You can Oh no. Try to do another sentence thinking that had hope. Oof. Actually bamboozled. And look who's in the party. Oh no, no, no. This is why she went to Xenoblade 3. She's like, I cannot go out on this L. I cannot go out on this L. This machine. Is this? <laughs> Hi, Neon. <laughs> Did you see the scene that just happened? <laughs> hello, 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 Neon. Welcome to the show. Having a good day. Always a pleasure seeing you around. No problem that you can't stay. Always a pleasure when you're able to find time to tune in. <laughs> Did you name the stream this for me? Maybe, but also... <laughs> Why did I join just for the most heartbreaking scene in the game? <laughs> it all came together. A plan well crafted. For I am Monado. Yes. The Apocrypha generator. Oof. Rip. 
Yeah, let's trash the thing. <laughs> like Melly is hot. We take this out and it's plain sailing for Shulk. She had a backup wheel for the backup. Oof. Honestly, I felt bad for Melia there. Like, they had a, they did not have to do that to her right there. They didn't have to do that. That was just plain re mean, rude, unkind, inconsiderate. Like, of all the things that happened to Melia in this game, did you have to pile that one on top of it? Oh, <laughs> Forgotten and lost. Oh no, Hydra. Oh no. Melia's crush literally does nothing for the plot. It, it, you, there's an argument to be made that it does for a little bit for Melia's character development, but... Hear that. It's probably the one, one aspect of Xenoblade's one story that I'm not that big on. The whole love triangle thing. Are you really alright? No, this sword electrocutes yeah, me. What do you think? I'm fine. For Bionis for Bionis slash X. Oof. That's an oof for me. Also, hello, hello, hello to you. Welcome to the stream. Have a good day. I was pleasure seeing you around. I'm not. Hi, <laughs> right, Neon. Thank you for joining. Always pleasure seeing you around. Good night. Hope you get some good some good. Hope you get some good rest. Venea, we need to find Egil. Could they not have just shulk walk past and give a happy nod saying nothing? I kind of feel like that would be worse. Like he acknowledges her presence and just keeps moving forward. The control core is directly But it does something to our hearts. Yeah, it adds it adds all it adds to the memes. Like it gives me an easy short to make. An easy YouTube clip. Her field skills, congratulations, Sean. Hello, hello, hello to you. Welcome to the stream. Having a good day. Always pleasure seeing you. Oh, da 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 da. Yeah, of course it's moving. The Mechanus is woken up. Okay, we would be thrown around like there's no tomorrow. Why were you standing there, you idiots? Oh, run towards the middle. There's a giant opening there. EK, left or right, you could have gone either way. That's not preferable for you. That looked mean and rude and just unkind. Like, it looked painful, honestly. Though it didn't look like it did much to the Bionis itself. Maybe like a leg grazing wound? Didn't have much velocity to it, you know? Hello, hello, hello. Here, welcome to the stream. Have a good day. I was pleased to see you around. Sad hours. Oh, yeah. From the rest... From here on to the end, until the moment we beat Zanza, this is literally just Depression Simulator. What the f is this? I forgot about this fight. Oh god, it's a square. Okay, Melia, time for you to do something valuable to the plot, and not just take L's. Let's go. Come on, knock it down. Monado, enchant! Let's go. Big boom. Bangs backslash. I just so freaking cool. It is some of the best wall design I've ever seen. It, there's such a unique idea to set a world upon. But it does so much for the for the lore. It's so good in my opinion. Okay, chain attack time. Let's go. Move, move, move. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh yeah, leave it to me. My turn. Oh, come on. I could have gotten another chain attack. I could have gotten another round there. Come on. Even after the sword strikes? Yeah, because the sword, like, did not cut deep whatsoever. That thing may have cut, like, a foot of snow out. I'm pretty sure no one died from that hit. Like, they just got briefly, like, nudged along. <laughs> I could do something. Oh, no. Evil intentions were made that day. Fiora, why are you dazed? Behold my power! Almighty push! 
Come on, lightning. Ooh, big damage. To change his ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a really good interpretation there, JJ. Forgot what it was. Yeah, I forgot that fight existed too, Mario. Mainly because... There's the line of dialogue for Riki. I forgot the fight existed too, because that fight has no mechanics. Apoka whatever. Vine with the killer insult. We could run to the side, but nah. Honestly, it looked like if they were just like if they just stood there, they'd been fine as well. Like maybe you get caught up in the snow a little bit, just ride it out. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Oh yeah, I got a lightsaber now. Let's go. Execute order sixty six. What's happened to the Monado? It must have changed just as the generator was destroyed. Oh, it's yeah. Amazing. It's like when Rock Lee took off the weights. We're, we're ready to go. Depression signal is about to go into oh, full power. Now it's about to go into maximum you. overdrive. Next up, egg oh, yeah, Egg. Can you go on? Me? I'm alright. Before the picture was shown. Come on, we have to stop Egil. I mean, it's a good question, Vane. It's a good question. Low battery, suck, mate. Get over here. Back on track. Okay, that's the HDMI Just cable, like not said. the recharge cable. Hold on. Come through. Dixon, I will kick you in the dick. Repeatedly. Yeah, like, you know the play, the nutcracker? That's what I'm about to do to Dixon. Naturally, everything is falling into place. Shulk violently screamed in pain yet. Yes, but it is Xenoblade 1. There's probably more to come. Hey, you can Scrambled eggs, again. anyone? Oh, no. But only as long as we remain within the margins of fate, I know not how things will proceed from this point. Well, some... Some Trinity processor you are, Alvis. Dude, imagine not doing shit in Xenoblade 1, just getting to pour it into Xenoblade 3's DLC and probably get your ass kicked there. That's an L. Alvis might actually take an L here. Might take an L that rivals Melia's. That's a lie. That's not possible. Dixon takes the first syllable very seriously. Huh. Time for the so top 10 video game betrayals. Agil! Stop the Maconis! There has to be a way for us to live in peace. There's no reason for us to fight. No, we need to fight. I need the farm XP. Now. Come on. My reasons are clear. Yeah, mine too. I need I loot and XP. You. Let's go. What's that? Look, it's by honest. May the road Do create a Minecraft glass house. Be the wrath of my people. Man's lopping. He's like, look what I can do. I can do what's on the TV screen. I don't think a single person died there. I will not lie to you. I don't think anyone died. In fact, you may have made a nice little... Uh... Snow castle. Or snowman. Okay, that was mean. Don't think that was necessary. Lurking within the Homs girl is no longer our god. This world no longer has a need for gods. Echo! Stop this! Stop this! I will become god! Successor of Xander. I'll crush the Bionis and spread its ashes across the world. God. Such a cool visual here, though. It's so good. And he's just so cool. I love him. I love everything about Xenoblade 1's aesthetic. It's so pretty. 
Okay. Kill killed people. Look, the sword is going maybe five miles an hour. I'm just saying, if they die to that, I'm just saying maybe move to the left. Or the right. Hell, even the middle, because there's a giant, like, gap in the middle of the sword. I'm just saying, maybe don't stand there. So, hello, 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 Michael. Welcome to the stream. Having a good day. Always a pleasure seeing you around. The hell is that sound effect? Ow! Okay, that killed someone. Killed my my soul. Is that, is that, freaking, is that his sound effect? Okay, we're kind of messing him up, though. Hold on. Destroy Ionius. Oh, these things. Hold on, I see you. Oh, God. Hey, would someone like to attack this thing? Oh, I already have... I didn't even see the ice ones. I didn't know I had all three. Come on, let's go. Oh, wow, the Monado. Hold on. We hold. We hold. Shulk, I swear to God. Get the hell up. Come on, Mind Blast, do something. Oh, Hog? I need more. Oh! Man's nutting every hit. Manufacture drones. God. Get over here. A chain attack, Poggers. You know what? You know what? Screw you. Huh? I was gonna click the chain attack button, you asshole! Oh, yeah. There ain't no worries for the rest of your days. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Rem oh, remote cannon. Just move. It's a it's a mega sword that looks like it's made out of fucking Bionicle. We'll be fine. Just step to the left and you'll be fine. Yeah, just jump easy. Just saying, I want to take that line down. Come on, Shulk. Thicken remote cannon. Oh! Uh, try not to die. That's what we're going to do, Fiora. Oh! Oh! Oh, you gotta be! Really? I read Shulk and then immediately die? Really? That's what we're gonna do? Okay. You know what? Screw this. You know what? Hold on. Wait a minute. One second. Yeah? You know what? You know what? If I gotta bring the chat in, we'll bring the chat in. Let's go, Dunban, yeah? Yeah? Put your game face on. Let's go. The size of Rota... You, you saw when they, like, moved in, and the thing was, like, maybe, like, three wingspans wide. Just move out of it. Easy. Step on McConnell's Lego, ha! Huh? Just overlevel yourself. I like fighting it. I like fighting him. Also, we can do this easily. I we definitely can do this. Oh my god, I even really can talk to those two. Ah, oh, son of a Okay, that's it. Okay, first of all, double wind. Let's go. Okay, Dunbad, maybe, just maybe, be the tank here. Weakness model, oh god. 
to Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba. Ow. A little bit mean. Don't think that was really, you know, needed. Hey, Shulk, you want a heal? You know, one heal? Look at the damage we're pounding. Hold on. We got this. Oh! Oh, yeah. Come on. There we go. There we go. Son of a... Hold on. Big damage. Wait a minute. Hold on. He's got moves. Oh, yeah. Soaring Tempest. Boomed him. 24k. Just off rip. Now, all I need to do is not get one shot and we'll be fine. Oh! Born in a world of strife! Okay, I think Dunban just annihilated everyone there. Are you sure about that? Hey, hey, Yeldaboth. You sure about that, though, mate? Oh, we won't, we won't defeat you, though. That what you're saying, though. That what you're saying, though. Because I heard a little bit of disrespect. Oh! Come on, Dunban. Oh, you gotta... Mm. That's why I can slice it so easily. You know what? That makes sense. Let's go. 45k. Boom them. Come on. Tell me why. Here we go. Oh, God. I see it. Oh, this looks pleasant. Bionis slash X. Oh, good. See, there's some speed to it. Okay, yeah, I can understand that one doing some damage. Had some speed to it. Defeat the three energy devices around Yaldavoth. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, you think, Shulk? No, let's just let that move go out. Okay, if my entire team could not die immediately, that'd be great. Okay. Unfortunate circumstance there where everyone just died horribly. Shulk, please. One heal. Come on. Yeah, you can do it. Come on. Boom. Okay, good. Get the boy up. Let's move. Come on. Come on, we got this. Move. Move. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. They can kill that one. We move over to this. Hit it. There you go. Let's move. Repair it with Flex Seal. True. Just a flesh coat on everything. Easy. Job done. Come on. One left. Come on. We got this. Don't do anything. It'd be funny. Hold on. I gotta prove everyone wrong that we can do it now. Let's go. Quest complete. Beautiful. Ha! Ah, get wrecked. Uh, get wrecked, Agil. Get wrecked. How'd that feel? That feel good because it felt good to me. Oh god. Let's wait till everyone gets over here. Why would- actually, hold on, why would we? Oh, even better. Hold this. Hold on, freeze! Hammer time! Got it! Bye, Agil! Hold that L! Seven levels under. Let's go. Hold that L. Had that feel. Hello, hello, hello. I thought you were going to stream on a good day. I always pleasure seeing you around. Boomed him. Absolutely boomed him. Come on. Come on, Shulk. Parry him. Wow, Pogus. 
Oh, up in the Yamanado, jump! Man's going full Smash Brothers right now. Ah, uh, yeah, do it. Look awesome. There you go. Oh, right in, right in Twain. Knock that head clean out. How could this happen to me? Do it. Do it. Kill him. Oh. Kill him. Listen to the voice inside your head, Shulk. It's reasonable. It's actually the plot does Final Enemies. Fantasy 16. It is what you want. True, exactly. I need my XP. Come on, let's do this. We can rest this dude at the tombstone. Let's go. That's Shulk from Smash. True, Adachi. True. Yeah, we'll find our Monado covered in blood. Let's go. On the double, Shulk. Come on. Bring it down. Bring it down. Yeah? Say these words, Monado, Buster! Until I've scrapped each and every one of you! Exactly. Let that rage boil over. Let's go, Shulk. Need you to play a game series for me, Shulk, called God of War 1, 2, and 3. Play that and need you to replicate what he did. No, but it is what I want. Come on. Button prompt anyone? Hello? Again, it's just the voices in your head, Shulk. Yeah, but I need those voices to become reality. Let's go. I need... Boy, man needs his XP. Let's go. Man just has to sit down and think. Do it. Killing me would have saved your world. I've forgotten all about that. Forgotten about it. God, we got the good outfit on as well. Let's go. That we both share the same pain. I know that Mario's a joke, no way. I don't have any reason to kill you. Even uh, yeah, but I do, let's go. I still do. I know. You can probably like turn his body into scrap metal for a new weapon. If you do not kill me now, my blade will annihilate every last one of your people. Even then. I can't kill you, but I can stop your blade. And I'll do it. Oh, Look how Eggle's about to retort, and then just Shulk just chimed in there again. And I'll do it again and again and again. Okay. If you, you don't do anything, you can just world. say it's a prank, bro, as but millions die. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that wipes out accountability. I like how comically large Monado 3 is. Maconis and Bionis once lived in harmony. But then the Fire Nation attacked. They coexisted in peace. Without hatred or strife. Egil, why do you think we were born? Uh, to wear pants. A uh, hint, Zan's a hint. I'm not very good at answering such questions. Have you never thought about it? Never contemplated what lies beyond this world? Uh, yeah, it's called Xenoblade 2. Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Mechonis, Dixon's gonna pull a pro gamer move. Ah. Nothing but boundless ocean. But what lies beyond that? All rest. We are still young and unable to leave the Bionis or the Mechonis. Say goodbye to our creators, our world. But one day our descendants will. They will leave this place and depart for new worlds. Worlds we have never imagined. Well, it's not that we depart for new worlds, we kind of create a new world. Alone. Leave this place? That is something I have never considered. However, it would be a... the size of Bionis' head? Hey, Gil. I wish to see... I'm so shocked that we never saw the Bionis like headbutt the Makonis. Just like jam the horn in there. Take care of one another. Undertale genocide for the future of our descendants. Yes. Overcome his desire for revenge. Yeah, true. I know I was like joking earlier, but yeah. Like, that's one of the really good things about Shulk's character development, in my opinion. Just how he goes from being full revenge boy into learning 
it would who he really wants to be. Were it not for the Monado. The Monado refused to permit... Hashtag not my Monado, it was Monado 3. Or rather, the existence of anything but itself. And one day, it took there you go, pick up the sword. Douglas, and he became Zanza. It was Arglas possessed by Zanza. I forgot the man's name was Arglas. I don't understand. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? The Monado is Zanza. Zanza is the Monado. The two are one and the same. In order to perpetuate the existence of his soul. Attack on Titan looking, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's actually where Aaron ended up after Attack on Titan. You appear to be different. What the foreshadowing is 5D chess. I can see it. Xenoblade foreshadowing just like well undefeated. It's so good. Of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Zanza. And was that not precisely our wish, Lady Mayneth? Honestly, I would not have minded seeing that I simple middle I love Majora's cuts. Mask. That could be, that could work really cool in Xenoblade. Now, all I can do is this, Egil. Let's go, Shulk. Let's go. Live in peace again. We can for all of five minutes. Again. I see. Yes, you're right. Bang! Oh! Shot through the heart! And it's too late! You gave love bad name! Hey, just a flesh wound. Walk it off me. Dixon? This fucker. You shouldn't have done that. Little I'm just saying, if I'm done, man, I'm immediately cutting that dude in half. Immediately. Not a moment of hesitation. I would take my katana, and I would go full Virgil. I am the storm that is approaching. Provoking the clouds in isolation. I'm just saying, immediately. There would be no moment of hesitation. It would be frame one. Like, the Flash would be proud of how fast I would be. Okay, maybe... Oh, thank you, Egg. I was gonna say, maybe someone catch him. Egg, you'll be the true bro in catching him. So he doesn't fall to me. Are you completely out of your mind? Ryan, come on, let's go. Sword dive! I'm just doing my job, as always. Right? Who are you? It... It's you. So we solved the Scooby-Doo mystery. Okay, to be fair, that guy looks like a badass in this form. Now you remember. It's been a long time. Hasn't it, Eggle? Too long. <laughs> and then everyone talked about I'm just saying, everyone just jumps up. Zanza's disciple? Eggle, what do you mean? What do you think I mean? Eggle? Zanza's disciple, what do you mean? As they say, seeing is believing. Okay, I will say this, though. Oh my god! Shulk! What's going on? Man's possessed of something. Actually is, though. Oh my god. Man was having a moment. Me when the coffee works in the morning. Let's go, Eggiel! Eggiel's like, no, I just made a friend. And I will freaking die protecting him. Okay, not ideal. Oh my god, get wrecked. Shulk, why the fuck couldn't you have done that in the boss fight? Hello? Uh, Zanza, one help? Shulk! Wait, who's this guy? Who's this dude? Zanza. And then there were two. Yo, it's Liquid Snake. Everything in this world is dictated by the passage. Okay, real talk though. Let's be completely honest with ourselves. Why the hell can I get that as an outfit? 
That is the vision of which I, the Monado, am the origin. I am Monado. Alvis is just back, sitting back like, oh, 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 give me a reason. Yo, the wings. The wings do look badass, though. I'm a big fan of, like, abstract wing design in JRPGs. Yes, the Monado 3, oh god. He's even more powerful now. So Dixon sooner Shulk and the others would have learned the truth sooner. Yeah. Did you forget? Who discovered those ruins? The foreshadowing. Everything in the game up to this point just falls in place. And who brought back that survivor? What are you saying? You planned all this when you found Shulk. Jackpot. It was all for this day. Man played the long game. There was never anyone called Shulk to begin with. That part blew my mind when I first played this game. Blew my mind. It was fated that I'd be released. It was shown to me in a vision. At last the time finally came. <laughs> came. The people who found the Monado and freed it awoke Sansa. He sucked the lies from them. So he could Oh yeah, the big suck. Shulk was among them. Shulk was among them. Dead. Among us. That's impossible. We grew up together. You grew up with the reveal. He appeared to live because I became his life force. Man became his HP bar. That is until he had matured as my new vessel and become worthy of wielding the Monado, allowing me to truly awaken and finally return. Oof. Lord Zanza is the soul of the Bionis. But he still needs a living body. See, I told you the Bionis is fine. Look, not even a scratch. His name was Bob. Yeah, that's what it was. Only one who doesn't have wings. Oh yeah, I guess Numa does have wings. There was no particular reason. Shulk merely happened to be there at the time. How lost and all what could be next? Yeah, how many times can we kill Shulk the simulator? He's like Subaru from ReZero. So then, Shulk's ability to use the Monado. And those visions that he used to save us. All because of Lord Zanza. Lord Zanza can see the passage of fate. He wasn't a chosen the one or anything. The he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Colony nine. The death of that pompous old high entier fool and that grunt Gado's miserable demise. All of it. You evil. Yeah. <laughs> Melia's like, I'm about to have a moment here. Oh. There's more. Wrecked immediately. We haven't even got to the best part. What are you going to do, Dixon? Don't you get it? You're just in the way. The lot of you. This world was created by Lord Zanza. By the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you can just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before, then all must be restored to its former order. In other words... The destruction and recreation of the world. It's a cycle. Nothing beginning and the end. Leading First, to new beginning. Must eliminate my greatest obstacle. You, Mayneth. The Mechonics. And away we go. Wakey, wakey. Okay. Hot take. Potentially. I'm just saying. Him awakening and moving like this would kill way more people than the Makana's sword did. I've been waiting. Waiting for this day. Sansa! Boom. Not even a scratch. Bounce right off him. See, even Maynith agree even uh, Vene agrees with me. Sacrifice myself to eliminate Zanza. As long as he lives, there can be no peace for us or for the people of Bionis. 
Tactics in no doubt, huh? Then you shall cease to exist. By the wrath of my blade. Okay, to be fair, I want that Monado. That one looks awesome. Okay, his sword is way bigger. I'll show you the meaning of wrath. Go get him, Agil. Oof. Actually, you know what? Makana's sword is bigger. What? It's finished. Oof. Yeah, maybe not ideal. Oh. Yeah, that that's gonna leave a mark. Oh, right through the head as well. Oh, ripped in half. Oh, that's gonna hurt. You're gonna feel that one in the morning. Agil and Shul could put their differences aside. Meaningless sentiment. Zanza! Right. God, Xenoblade just does do plot twists so well. One after the other, just non-stop. It is from me that all life is born. It lives only for me. And it shall be returned. Okay, again, maybe we just want to sidestep to the left or the right here. Just get out of the way, bob and weave, duck, maybe. Nah, screw that. Fiora, Digivolve, let's go. Here we go. Time for a DBZ fight. I'm so glad the series is thriving. Same here, middle, middle ten, same here. It's so good. God, this series is just amazing. I finally understand. Okay, dual swords oath. Kind of clean, not gonna lie. Got another thumbnail screenshot, true. Egg has been cracked in half. Oh, God. No one special a great plot point. I agree, your uncle. The fact he was just... Ha he just happened to be there. I love that part. Hold on, the music. Let's appreciate it. God, the music is good. Alright, Hajo, thanks for tuning in. I was pleasure seeing you around. Stay safe. Let's go, Mayneth. Oh god, we gotta f Oh god, we're by ourselves. By the way, Melia, nowhere to be seen. Rip Bozo. Come on, Fiora. Solo this, let's go. We got this in the bag. Actually, actually free. Remove debuffs, let's go. There we go, there we go. Big damage time. Auto attacks for days, let's go. Is that all you got? Let's go. Let's go. Look at the damage fly. Look at it fly. Oh, you know I gotta use the giant cannon beam. Let's go. Man, just use a Monado Buster on me. Here we go. Oh, wrecked immediately with auto attacks. Hold that. Come on, Agil. One final effort is all that remains. Something wrong. Is this the height of your skill? Okay, you're kind of getting clapped here. Uh, Maineth, hello? And you talk of sharing this world with me. Anyone know I can get... That Monado form as a an appearance because it looks badass. The dead boy is important to you. The homes are nothing but bacteria clinging to my body. Nothing but bacteria clinging to my body. Bar, what a bar. This is Elvis. Mm -hmm. Oh God, they're definitely doing a throwback to this, aren't they? Yeah, it's one of the reasons I love Shulk as a protagonist, Davis. His entire character walk is just so compelling. And unique.
though it's paced perfectly. The themes are interesting. Face me like a god. Hey, why can't my Minato do that? Hold on. X Scissor. There you go. Hi, Maineth. Welcome to the squad. Awaken your own Monado. This is what I wish. This world belongs to you. All right. Well, you came out for like three seconds. Create a world. You did block a shot for me, though, so I'll take it. With no need for gods. A world with no need for gods. Bye, Maneth. Salute to you. Farewell. Fare ye well. What a good character in the following Bonato. Grab the Megil. Denied. <laughs> Actually denied. This is the passage of fate. Oh god, he has two. They all they both look badass. What? He's gone. And things ain't looking good for us. You think? Okay, maybe we get out of here. I'm just saying, maybe we leave. Hi, Zanza. Welcome back. <laughs> Let it begin. The ceremony of destruction and recreation. And it goes below the sea. Meanwhile, the Nopon down below are freaking out. Agil looks so heartbroken. Mm -hmm. At journey's end, at the very end, he wanted to walk a different path. By the way, rip everyone here. You better become XP farms for me. God, the music's so good! And now Melia's true suffering begins. I would argue it began with her getting rejected by Shulk in the most heartbreaking fashion and getting absolutely sidelined by... by Dixon there. But it's about to go up a notch. The final wish. I understand your feelings. Leave it to us. We know what we must do. We will do all we can for the people of Maconis. All five of them that will remain. Now go. Shulk can still be saved. Agil knows something. Do not let the last glimmer of hope be extinguished. Agil, go in peace. Let's go. There's no we'll hatred that remains. Ryan, take care of Shulk. For a true go. enemy remains. Ah. Uh, yes. My Triforce. Good thing Shulk slept through all this. Yeah, man's a heavy sleeper, actually. Good. It still works. The whole place is gonna blow. We must return to Junks via the Central Factory. If I was Mick, I'd be like, I'm getting the hell out of here. Let's go. Thundern, what about Egil? Fuck him. Let's go. He'll fight Zanza to the very end. But we have our part of the bargain. Once he's gone, we're the only ones left. Yeah, once he's gone in five seconds, let's, let's get out of here. Goodbye, my brother. Breath of the Xenoblade. Flip Bozo. F. Goodbye, Agil. True, though. Great character. Underrated, honestly. Oh, God. Shulk's a guest now. Oh, God. Hold on. Gotta fix this. One second.
Let's go. See, otherwise he might have... Oh, God. That's a good point, Bean. Imagine Shulk just sees Vex like, Are you Zanza? Nah, I got another sword. I got different swords. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Come on, Melia. Let's run into depression. We're on the move. Goodbye, Makanis. You're in an absolutely beautiful zone with gorgeous music. I love it. You can see the other zones from up here. Oh, God. I love the Makanis design so much. You were the biggest of big robots. And I loved you for that! Shout out to this one pipe, by the way. I, I don't know if that was the, actually the story, Divas. I think it was just that... Mithra had a Monado moment, like a foresight moment, just really into the future. And the future that she decided to create was the one that led to that. Running <laughs> towards PTSD. Yeah, in like a weird way, it's like, Melia, maybe take a, make a different turn here. Let's not jump, though. That does not look good for us. I think that's how Chili is made. So, to be fair, no matter what direction we run, what's happening to the high end here right now is gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm back in time to see Melia suffering. Oh, there's plenty of time for that, Hydro. There's plenty of time for that. Okay, Mikkel, step on it. Let's go. Gotta get out of here. I want to thank you. Shut up and fly. We gotta get the hell out of here. The music, though. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Stubborn mortals, so desperate to cling to your pathetic lives, even when there is no hope for you. Okay, a little bit mean. Oh, the block. Let's go, Agil. One last sacrifice. See, that's a cut. Never. never. We never give up. They will judge me not in life, but Let's go, Agil. Burn a memory bright. Let's go. Oh, the punch! Into the midsection! Ooh! Stay at him! Hold on! One final effort! Come on, he's going full Halo 3 on him! Oh no. Oh god, he's going for the killing blow. Nice arm, by the way. Oof. Yeah, this is about to be bad. Uh, yeah, was maybe a skill issue. Uh, Eggill, what you're gonna want to do is revert the save. Try again. Maybe a different strategy this time. Salute to the Makonis. Goodbye, Eggill. For both our worlds. Thanks for the egg memes. Jesus, okay, I think you got him, Zanza. Damn, I had to make a whole, like, light the beacon scenario there for him, huh? Egg has been scrambled, oh god. Eggil's a good example that sometimes you don't need a lot of screen time, and you don't need a lot of development to be an incredibly en engaging antagonist. Or just character. <laughs> oh, fly towards it. Find out. I thought he was loser. It's either going to be like midway through, I bet, or near the end. I don't know. It's hard to predict that. It's Depends on when they want to start the DLC story yet. For honor be like, oh god. You're not getting away. Dixon! Dixon, you're a real dick. Oh. It's over. Time for you all 
to return to the Bionis. Nice uh, yeah, that's actually what we're trying to do, Dixon, but just not in the way you Why, think. Dixon? What made you like this? Shulk looked up to you, respected you. Dixon, don't let Zanza control you. Wake up. You can quit your belly aching. I'm in total control. I've always been like this. Ever since long before any of you lot were born. Before we were born? Now you get it. It's just like Eggle said. I'm Lord Zanza's disciple. Dixon of the Trinity! Dixon of the Trinity! I made my own nickname! Alright. I feel like we kind of got to play as Melia here. Let's do this. Level 70? That's free. Come on. Worldly smash! Oh yeah, and we got the sibling team here as well. We got siblings in depression. Let's go. Oh yeah, chain attack time. Let's go. Let's go with Mind Blast. Behold my power. Force push. Double blade. Okay, not as much damage as I would like. Okay, only 19k, not that much. Gonna have a fun time very soon. Oh god, poor Kalyan. That man's not gonna have a good time. Actually, he's gonna have the opposite of one. I'm gonna go all out. Is it? I don't know, maybe not dying's our greatest strength. Will it though? Ow. Okay, Vez me. I'm fine now. Ow. Okay, that was a little bit rude. Inconsiderate, just not needed. Okay, weird insult. Stupid beast. You're not wrong, the Monado Arts would have helped. Not everyone has a war buddy like me to lead them along. Tasted good. Shook thing about this what you ate. The victory drinks we used to share. I'll kill you. Tunban was the only non evil one. What? Oh, here we go. <sighs> Who was that? Show yourself. Melia, are you alright? Oh god. This is not the support you think it is. Kalyan, you might want to get out of here. We get a little bit of hope. We get a little bit of hope. They give us a little bit of line, just a little bit of slack here. Is this true? No, we lied to you, Kalyan. We just lied to you. It's a joke, actually. We're trying to do a bit of stand-up comedy. You cannot win! Maybe you should be concentrating on your own people instead of barking at me. <gasps> Looks like you've forgotten your destiny. Right, Lorathea? This is not good. Lorathea? This is not good. Are you involved in this as well? Your Highness, your naivety is quite charming. But it is also your undoing. <laughs> you, you might want to leave, Kalyan. Just get out of here. Fly to a different ocean or something. What? What is this? <laughs> oh, poor uncle. A bit of improv. Ether particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> what do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high emptier? Oh, God. A chemistry yet lesson. Where's Walter White? We need a chemistry lesson. Oh, you have to show us the animation as well. Oh, good. Bubbles! I think they sprung a leak. So, have you guys, like, tried not dying? 
God, that reveal too. This entire section is just one earth-shattering reveal after the other. Brother! Understand, child. This is the reason why High and Tear are born. Do not blame the pose, me. though. Explain yourself. It's just like she says. The High and Tear are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. Their bodies contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms oh, no, denim. into telepathy. <laughs> In the Xenoblade 3 engine? God. It can't be. Say it okay, sus done. camera zoom out there. Melia, it is true. That is why you are our only hope. This scene all Loki always breaks my heart. It's so good Brother? though. Oh god. We won't be needing J the way they like give you a little bit of hope just I so mean, they can take it away so it's even more painful. But it makes sense for the story. Okay, I don't need you to do that pose on me. Dixon, this is not an album cover. Rise up, pet. Do my bidding. Kill your lovely sister. Oh no, Callian. Brother! He's evolving. He's evolving to Callian too. Melly can't catch a break. Oh my god, she really can't. Like, it takes until Future Connected to get some kind of happiness for her. Brother! Yeah, the only thing you have left is shoulders now. I can still shoulder the burden meant for you. God, at the very end, he's trying to protect her. Let's go, Kalyan. Through willpower alone. He became a giant kaiju. Brother! Brother! Goodbye, Kalyan. Press F to pay respects, people. Destroy him. I entered, destroy him. I got it. He did, he fault. Oh, spear tackle. Boom, <laughs> headbutt. God, he's this. The power of family. Vin Diesel them. F to pay respects. And thus the chapter ends. Meanwhile, Shulk's having an otherworldly experience right now. Man's out of his mind. Where am I? What's that one AI voice to voice that someone did with Biden, like, talking about weed or something? Just like, insert that here. Shit straight out of Kaelid. Oh. So I'm... Though I guess for this game, it'd be straight out of Satoll. <laughs> Vin Diesel would be proud of him, true. What was I doing? We live in a society! What was the purpose of my life? Oh, was incredible. That Melia's voice act is just so good. What was I doing with my life? Being a badass is what you were doing, Shulk. He high as hell, literally. He's in outer space. Melia, turn away. Man, this guy's taking death pretty well. No. <laughs> I've got it wrong. Grab an asteroid. 
Just chuck it at the Bionis. I was never alive. I was never alive. All along. He was dead since he was a kid. Everything I did was Bro went to Amsterdam. Do you want to say Alvis? Hi, Alvis. That voice. Man's making his debut, his reveal. I'm a ball of light. Nobody else can decide that. Only you. Man walked away from a sunbeam. J.J. Abrams could never. J.J. Abrams looks at that scene and gets... And gets a funny feeling. It's like, oh, cinematic masterpiece. A sunbeam. Sun glaring. Oh. Hey, good news, he's breathing, though. Shulk. Here. The Monado. Made you a wonderful new weapon. <laughs> Since you lost oh, wow, it's the same one. I mean. It uses the latest Machina technology. Use it when you wake up. You're the real MVP. <laughs> then? Yeah, exactly, Hydro. Just don't get taken over in the first place. Easy. Just don't do it, Flathead. Like the no pawn, the no pawn chiefs there. Like he's doing anything at all. Thankfully, the Mekon did us a favor by fortifying it for us. Oh, by the way, thank God we don't have to use that BS other Monado replica. They made the Monado three. Ah, oh, yeah, they just like went into the shop one day, got the cooking, just built it. It's ironic. Has time to keep Shulk safe? Mm-hmm. Like how Shulk tried to keep her safe, now she can keep him safe. We want to escape Zanza, but we can't leave his body. Mikkel's the actual god since he made Monado 3. Yeah, he's, yeah the, he was actually on us the entire time. Well, this is our home. Princess, I have to know. Should we be worried about the evacuated Hyantia? I cannot be sure, but I believe not. All those who survived are part homes like me. Understood. If Athon's like, do I have to round them up? I will be among them. If that time comes, you know what to do. Are you sure? Everyone is obliged to accept their fate. No way! <laughs> no way! It's Rhine time! There's no way Callion would leave the fate of the High Ends here to you if that was gonna happen. I just noticed that she Duncan's randomly here. Give me new, is that why Pirate Mythos caused a mistake? Well, at this point, Zanza has his Monado back. So the Monado that Shulk's been using is gone. It's with Zanza now. The Monado that Shulk uses from this point on is not a Monado. It's a replica Monado. It's not as powerful as an actual Monado. It doesn't have the same functionality. But they created it in such a way where it can replicate quite a few things. It's just not as powerful. Precisely. Okay, Ian, thank you for tuning in. Always pleasure seeing you around. Go get some good sleep, hopefully, if you can. Hope to see you again next time. Always pleasure seeing you around. Bye-bye. And Milia, if we are to survive, we must fight Zanza and the Telethia. Hell yeah! Let's fight him! It may not be the case with all of them, but a large... Just play Eminem, Cinderella one. Man, and we got this. Your subjects and your brethren are you gonna keep using the Monado three? Uh, if chat wants, we could probably just like put it to a poll after this. I am prepared for that. I don't mind swapping. Even if it means harming my brethren, it is for the protection of the survivors. Yeah, I just have the Monado three right now because I new game plus and I have it as an appearance. That is the final wish of my father and brother. I will fight to free the soul stolen by Zanza. You're well, you'll be fighting for a long time there. We will need all your strength in the fight ahead. I like how the speed does not match the animation for the walking animation there. He's going to make it. His wound has closed. I think Maynith used the last of her power to protect him. So he's okay. Linada is tending to him now. Fiora? He won't wake up. Man's asleep. Can you blame him, though? He's been through a trauma. Let my man sleep it off. It's like his consciousness has sunk to the bottom of a cold, dark lake. Sword best weapon. I hate that thing. Oh, God. 
gonna die, aren't they? I'm not considering any character death in the DLC to be canon. Well, it'll be canon. I just think they'll come back after the events of Ionios. I keep saying his name, but he doesn't respond. Sansa's gonna pay for this. Explain why Vex is so mad. Yeah, what? I think we're gonna. I think we'll get a, a large body count in the DLC, but I think they'll just all come back after the events of Xenoblade Three. Uh, Alvis might be fucked though. He might be out. What if the Telethia attack? Says, what are you cooking? Then we'll have to fight without Shulk. That's why. We Finally, the Alvis has come back to Bionis. That weapon I made should come in handy as well. Damn right, Mickle. Let's go. We're backed into a corner. Is it Mickle or Mikol? I forget. Tis but a scratch. Can your resistance truly achieve anything? What do you mean by that, Alvis? Man just got betrayed and then found out he wasn't real. Yeah, he got betrayed, found out he was never alive. Exactly what I said. We were all born of the Bionis. Of Zanza. Alvis is like, and by we, I mean all of you, not me. It is Zanza's <laughs> will that the Telethia return us to the body from whence we came. Whether we die of old age or in battle, we all eventually return to the Bionis. We cannot escape this fate. Am I wrong? You've got it backwards, man. Just because he thinks... Alvis is just testing them. He's like, what do you all think about this, yeah? We decide whether to keep living or not. Oh, do we now? I agree. Okay, thanks, Dunban. Appreciate that input. Even though he's our creator, that doesn't afford him the right to take our lives on a whim. But that is the thinking of a Homs. He is a god. Such morals cannot apply to gods. So you think we should just shut up and die? If that is the fate decided by a god. Yeah, he's testing their will right now. You are mistaken if you think we will simply accept such a Just not that version. Die. Was he, though? I thought... I imagine there'll be a lot of scientists that made him. We'll I imagine Zanza... So I mean, Klaus would be part of it, though. To Zanza, the outcome is the same. Thus, your logic I'm right in front thing. of him. Oh, God. That's a rage scene that I need. It ain't the outcome that's important. It's the will to fight back. Even if you die in vain. Alvis! Whose side are you on? You scared or something? <laughs> oh, Vine, those fine ones. Stop this. There's no point fighting amongst ourselves. Vine looks like he's about to throw hands. Alvis just like they're like, answer my question. Are you ready? Are you prepared for what needs to happen? Viola. Sorry. I need to go and get some air. My battery's are low. Literally. Yo, we get to play as Melia Pog. I forgot, we can probably go talk to Shulk right now. <laughs> I am the god! Ha! Hi, Shulk. Shulk, Ripozo, skill issue, actually. Why do you... Bernardo's looking. I must stop staring. How are you? You really are worried about Shulk. He's still unconscious, but his condition is stable. Please don't worry. Just leave everything to me. How are you? I didn't want to talk to you again. On your dialogue. You? Really worried about Shulk. What was the other line of dialogue? How are you? I was shut down at midnight, okay? Would you mind keeping an eye on Shulk during that time? How are you? Really, I worried about Shulk. I mean, I know Shulk just keeps despawning. It is as if Lenata can see into my very heart. It is embarrassing. I must not remain here any longer. I should go after Fiora. But one more time. Shulk, why do you... I must stop staring. God, the song I played there, too. You get a lot of affinity. Hold on, bet. 
At midnight, you say? Imagine a photo mode. God, I need it. Please wake up, sir. How long do you want to sleep? You must get up. The world needs you. I need you. We all need you. Shell, can you hear me? Maybe you are lost. Perhaps you, have, perhaps you feel hope, helpless. But please, stay with me a little longer. Shulk, since I first met you, it is as if my life has been turned upside down. It's been an unending chain of anxiety, worry, and sadness. Lord knows that's going to continue. I've experienced much pain. Father's death, losing my people. Just think about it. It is difficult to hold back the tears. I wanted to grieve for everything lost, but I did not. Because I still have hope in you, Shulk. You have kept me strong. You, Sharla, Riki somehow, everyone, not Ryan. You have all stood by me and given me so much strength. I cannot even begin to put my gratitude into words. I do not think you have noticed. Out of everyone, you have given me the most. You've given the most for me. It is even because of that. Well, it's because of you that I feel the way I do now. But I've given you nothing in return. Shulk. What can I do for you? I robbed a bank to get you some money so I can buy you some food. What was I trying to do? No, no! This is terrible! You'll be disappointed to see me like this. I should not be this way. Shulk is always honest with everyone. I must not misunderstand that. If that is Shulk's strength, I must not take advantage of it. I must not succumb to it. I cannot stand equally with Shulk. I can only protect the happiness for which Shulk wishes. That is all. Next time, I will try to protect the people important to Shulk. Must have remained here any longer. I should go after Fiora. Maybe this wasn't meant to be. There's few times in a generation when a story is as compelling, is as good, as heartwarming, and as captivating as a game like Xenoblade Chronicles 1. It's hard to craft a story this well-rounded, this well-paced, with this many gr characters that are deep, complex, have great, interesting motives, and don't feel one-dimensional. It's hard to then, on top of that, add additional character development surrounding that, but place it in a way where a large majority or even a vast majority of players that play this game will never even think of doing. But you sneak it in there because you have the heart, you have the passion to create a world. You understand this is a video game. Some players might choose to do that, some may not. It's not necessary, you don't need to do it. However, for those who do, you find a little something new. You find a little something else to sprinkle onto the experience to add just that much more engagement, that much more emotion, that much more character into a story already rich in all three. Xenoblade as a whole is really just built different. It really, truly is, in a lot of ways. It's just built extraordinarily different. Does the game have its faults? Yeah, sure. But the game's strengths are so strong, are so reinforced, that you end up just not caring about them. Because the strengths are so strong that you want to experience it all over again. It's one of those few games, it's one of those few series where you're like, you know what, if I could, I would take away all the memories just to experience it all over again. Because the story is that good. It is that emotional. It is that well paced. It is what makes stories so compelling in a lot of ways. And it's uniquely Xenoblade in a lot of others.
and to not only do that, but I'm a fan of every Xenoblade game in the series. Not only have it done once, to catch lightning in a bottle once with Xenoblade 1, to then do it again with Xenoblade 2, and to then do it again with Xenoblade 3. That is hard. Crafting a story as good as Xenoblade 1's is hard enough to do. To do it three fucking times is almost unheard of. Very few game series out there, very few series in general, are able to craft a narrative as compelling and as strong as Xenoblade's. But how do they do it? Because they understand the core of what makes a Xenoblade story so compelling. A large, extravagant world and characters to ground it all. To make the world part of the story and to make the characters the story themselves. To make it engaging, to be emotional, and to make each individual component flow into the next, be woven with all, all the other pieces to create a whole that is greater than the sum of its parts. That is one of the strengths of Xenoblade. It's because they understand what it means to tell a compelling story. Because you don't need to just make the player cry for the sake of crying. You will need to kill a character off just because you need to make a quota of character death to keep the players on their toes. You don't need any of that. That is weak and that is lazy storytelling when it is not done for the correct reasons. Xenoblade has a goal. It has an idea. It has a purpose. It has a message. It has a theme that it is trying to tell you, the player. And throughout the course of its entire experience, it is guiding your mental state, guiding your knowledge base, the stuff you've gathered, all the characters, is guiding every little aspect of it. To put you in a mind, a mental space. Put you in the correct state of mind so that you can most emotionally resonate with what's happening in the game. Take the entire last 30 minute section. It's plot twist after plot twist, reveal after reveal, Character death after character death. But none of it feels contrived. None of it feels arbitrary. None of it feels like it's an ass pull. It all makes sense. Why? Because, Mono because Monolith understands what it means to tell a compelling story. They know how to pace a story. They know what to tease you with. They know how to tease you with multiple different things. And they know how to put all the pieces together where it all flows from one part to the next. So that when the big reveals do happen, it blows you away, keeps you on your toes, keeps you, makes the story unpredictable, makes the characters rich, diverse, and makes it all make sense. Like, oh yes, the pieces were there, I may just not have seen it. Or the pieces were there, but I thought it was something else. But with, now with this context, it all makes sense. That is the hallmark of a great story. And Xenoblade 1 encapsulates that in a lot of ways. Again, scenes like that, you do not need it. Everything that was just said in that one scene back there with Shulk and, and Melia, you could kind of imply it. But because you were the player, you decided to make an active physical decision to go back and talk to Shulk with Melia. You got that extra piece of dialogue. And just uh, sprinkled in more. Furthered her character. We'll get more when she talks to Fiora later on. We'll get that. But the game understands... What makes characters compelling? What makes them not just one-dimensional stereotypes? It would have been easy. So incredibly easy. To have made a character like Melia one-dimensional. Where she's just the third wheel in a love triangle destined to die. Destined to fail. But they don't do that. They don't do that because they have the balls. They have the idea. They have the knowledge to craft a story and a character more compelling than the stereotypes that they use to lull you into a false sense of security so they can pull the rug from out under you and give you an experience worth remembering. Because right now, yeah, it's settling in with Melia that she's not going to win over Shulk's heart. But does she focus on that? No. Why? Because she just lost half her fucking kingdom. They just got turned into monsters. So she's focusing on that. What does it mean to be a leader? What is it? What is her role in this place? What is her role after it? 
they focus on that. And that is just one example because you can do that for every character in this game pretty much except for Riki. You can do that for pretty much everyone. Where they're not just one dimensional. You know how easy it would have been to turn Shulk into a character just hell bent on revenge and have the fucking ending of this game be that him and Ankyl die the end? Quote, quote, by the way, play of revenge is bad. That would have been generic. It would have been stereotypical. It would have been one dimensional and it would not have been unique. And nobody would have, rem would have remembered that story as much as they remember Xenoblade 1 story. Exactly, Mario. That is another thing. A weaker story and a weaker writer would have killed off Melia back there. They would have done it because they say, hey, let's make it so it's even more emotional for Shulk. Hey, her story is quote-unquote ending with everyone else. Let's kill her off. Ah, what they do? Kill off everyone else, give her additional motivation on top of everything else, and let's see where the character can go from there. Because a weaker story finishes the character's storyline and kills them off. Because you just got all that development, so if they kill that kill off that character, it will feel emotional. Au contraire. What a good story does, in my opinion, is they have a character go through an arc, have that arc complete, and then they'll use the information and the knowledge and the experience and the wisdom they gained through that arc for the next story arc, or to help other characters along with their own arc. As the love triangle storyline of Melia fades away, a new one where she has to accept a new role and find her own place in this world begins, or at least takes center stage. And that is the hallmark of a great character. That is the hallmark of a great writer. Of a gr of great writer, of a great story, and of a great character. Shout out to her kicking the camera there for some reason. Because they do this with every freaking character. It's not just a one-off with Melia. They do it with Shulk and Revenge going into the whole plot line of him wanting a world without gods. They do it with Dunban way early in the game, sure. They also do it with Fiora, and accepting her new body, accepting the fact that all this bad stuff has happened to her, what is she going to do with it? They did it with Sharla. With Gatto, Ron as well. He's included in that storyline. Riki's story is very simple, and I may joke about it from time to time, but it's still pretty heartwarming. He's just a father trying to do what is best for his children. To make sure they have a world that they can live in. A home they can go back to. And he's a bit of comedic relief in a world that absolutely freaking needs it from time to time. You have the character of Agil, which is a, who is the complete foil of Shulk. In a lot of ways, especially in that first arc of Shulk. That is the hallmark of a great character, of a great story. Is when it's not just down to one character that is as well developed as Melia. It's when you have a cast of characters that are as developed and is as interesting as that character. So that they can each shine and they can each make each other more compelling. More engaging, more endearing. I've, all, I've said on this channel, if you've watched like a lot of my older videos, I went off on a topic. Especially in the Final Fantasy XIV videos that I made about certain characters. In my mind, there are two types of characters, and you could argue three. There are... I forget what I call them, it's like a selfish character. Where that character's arc is all about that character. And furthering their own mental state, their own desires what is happening to that character as a whole. The story about that character is about that character. Then you have support characters. Support characters are characters where it's not real. they're not really there to make themselves that compelling or they're that much of an engaging story or character arc themselves. They are there to make the characters around them more compelling, more interesting, more engaging. Maybe they bring a bit of comedy into the mix. Maybe the action that that character enacts it furthers the plotline of another character. And you want to know what I think the best characters are a lot of the time? Are when they are uh, some combination of the two. When they have a compelling arc by themselves. That is insular. That is about their character. That furthers their character's desires. Or their own storyline. Or what's going on with them. But also, that character 
makes the characters around them even better. More engaging, more compelling. That, to me, is what separates a good character from a great character. From a character that you will always remember even the name of. Where you'll never have to second guess yourself. You'll know immediately that is that character because that character is one of my favorites. Is when they're able to stand on their own two feet as a character, but they also make the cast around them more compelling. That is an excellent example of Ryan, Sharla, Dunban, Shulk, Melia, and Fiora. I'd argue Riki's more of a, uh, a support character. It's n there's nothing wrong with just being a selfish character or just being a support character. But those truly great characters, I would argue, are, the co are some combination of both. It does not have to be 50-50. If it works for the story, then it works for the story. It does not have to be 50-50. But some combination, that is what really makes a great character, in my opinion. And Xenoblade as a whole is full of characters like that. Full of characters that can stand on their own two feet, but also make the characters around them compelling and interesting. Xenoblade 1 is a great distillation of this effect. Because you can see a lot of prototypes and archetypes of characters they would use in Xenoblade 2 and 3, but flesh out and give even more screen time to. But you don't need a lot of screen time. That is one of the hallmarks of Xenoblade 1's story, and what makes it so compelling in my opinion. Because it doesn't need a lot of screen time for each and every character. Dunban, in the grand scheme of things, his story's kind of already wrapped up in a lot of ways. It wrapped up with Mumka back there. But they kept him around. Why did they keep him around? Because he's still an interesting character. Because he makes the characters around them even better. Sure, he had his own character arc, but now he can be used for other character story arcs to make them even better. Xenoblade 1 understands how to introduce... Xenoblade as a whole understands how to introduce a character, how to make them compelling immediately... But to flesh him out and develop him over time, just sprinkle it a little bit more here and there, over time, to where, almost shockingly quickly at times, they can easily become one of your favorite characters. Because Xenoblade understands the art of character introduction and character development. More payoff in, in Future Connected? Exactly, Divas. I love Future Connected. Why? Because it pays off so much other stuff. It wraps up Melia's character arc, which is perfect in my opinion. You got more development with Riki and his whole family. There's even a little arc with Dixon. Exactly, Kev. Back in the McConaughey's hand. Like, after the events of Sword Valley. There's a little cutscene. And again... For a character like Riki, you don't need much. But what that cutscene showed was his kindness, was the lessons he learned by being a father. And you learned, hey, he's not just comedic relief. He has a brain on his shoulders. It was very short, and in the grand scheme, grand scheme of a 100 plus hour RPG, it's not that much. But what it does is make him feel like he belongs with the cast. Because you don't need a lot of time. You just need enough time. And if you know what you're doing, and you know how to craft a story, how to tell, write dialogue, how to convey emotions and themes and character effectively, you do not need a lot of time to develop a character or to introduce them. Or to make a character go from 0 to 100. You don't need a lot of time. You can use a lot of time, nothing wrong with that. But you don't need it. The Heart to Hearts and Future Connected are so good. Yes. The Heart to Hearts and Future Connected are the style of Heart to Hearts and Xenoblade 1 done five times better, in my opinion. Now, let's go to the next cutscene. Now, take all of what I just said, and as we go into this next cutscene, and the cutscene's following here, Watch what they do with the character of Melia. And watch what they do with the character of Fiora. Watch how they progress their characters and what words they choose 
to progress these characters' story, and how they can pivot from one narrative to another. Guess I wasn't hiding it well. And how, can they, how they can bring things that have been foreshadowed or briefly touched upon up to this point and really bring it into the, into the main story here. It must be difficult living with that body. I'm getting more and more used to it. But people still look at me funny. Yeah, exactly, Jared. Shul uh, Shulk's role in Future Connected, yeah, he kind of mirrors Dunbar in a lot of ways there. Oh, it's not that bad. It feels pretty comfortable. Like that was a nice surprise. Exactly, Lucas. Exactly. Because they have character archetypes, and they can use those archetypes to draw you in with a character by making them feel familiar to you. But what they then do is, okay, look, we have this character archetype. Yeah, sure, you kind of understand what this character is like. Because he fits an arch they fit an archetype. How about though we take this story in another direction, then give them that sense of uniqueness? I mean, draw you in like that. I don't need to worry about food or anything like that. I see. This body, the energy from the chest component made it work. It turned out to be a monado. Yeah, I agree, Mario. Such a strange feeling. A Monado? Was that the Monado that Zamza took from Maynith? Will your body cease to function? I'll be fine for now. There's still some stored energy left. But then what? Notice how they tied in Fiora's self-concern and worrying uh, physical decline because of her being in this body with Melia loving Shulk. How they tied those two plot lines together here. And it doesn't feel contrived. It feels like, yes, this is a natural progression of these two stories. Don't talk like that. They intersect here. What does Melia say? Don't talk like that. A weaker character would have been would have said yes. Would have just gone in with the trope that ha Shulk will be mine. Melia doesn't do that. How can you ask me such a thing? I I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. You're right. Thank you, Melia. And they don't dwell on shit. They understand just how long to keep a doubt in a character's mind so it doesn't draw so it doesn't drag on and become repetitive. They don't go too quickly either. If Shulk awakes, do you tell him? No. He worries too much anyway. <laughs> he does worry. It's just like Actually, I'm already dead. I have been since the Mechon attacked. And Fiora is just like Shulk, already dead. Fiora. But I'm happy now. This body has given me the chance to live. Maybe I don't have much time left. But at least I can be with Shulk for a little while longer. Do you feel that strongly for him? Yes. That's why I'll fight on and help him in any way I can. Exactly, Esther. Let's get back. Everyone will start worrying. Yes. You are right. I don't like love triangles half the time, but the way they did it in Xenoblade 1 is like the best case scenario in my opinion. From the others? You do not want them to worry. I admire your strength. Maybe I'll tell him. But only when the time is right. I won't say a word. And a friendship begins to develop between Melia and Fiora there. I'm nothing compared to her. Meanwhile, Asylum. Fiora. 
Oh no, the robot from Xenoblade 2! Okay. The Siren! Xenoblade also doesn't resort to character development from trauma. It uses trauma as a catalyst to induce growth through how the characters deal with it and react to the trauma. Mm hmm Yeah, they don't have the trauma be the character. They have the reaction to the trauma be the character. That's an important distinction that a lot of stories get lost on. Xenoblade's polar opposite, huh? Into an inconnected square? Yeah. Well, the thing with Xenoblade 2 is, and why I don't call it a love triangle, is one, it's a square. Two, they never act like it is. Like, outside of maybe, like, two scenes with Nia, they really don't lean into it, at least like they did with Xenoblade 1. Yeah, this one happened to Colony 6 because I didn't upgrade it. Oh god, I went- Oh no, this is the right way. Okay, cool. Hi, Junks. Welcome back. Jump down, there we go. Broken ankles. For days. Max has some explaining to do. Is that? Telethia, the horde of them are approaching. Oh, good. That sounds lovely. I'm going to. But Shulk needs you. I know. But I can't just stay here. What if something happened to you? What would I tell Shulk when he wakes up? Fiora, are you sure? I tell Athia, Dino Beasts! Look, it's him! So he survived. Dixon! That's right. Glad to see me. No, not really. Actually, I am glad I can kick you in the penis now. Penis Buster! Meanwhile, in order to meanwhile, Shulk's having an out of his mind experience here. Zanza and Mayneth must use a being they created. Tetrahedron is easy to manage. They cannot exist forever as mere souls. This world was created so that they may continue to exist. It is for this reason that its existence and future is in their hands. About fully saying it, that'd be fate. funny. And your visions. People live. And I know there's mul multiple Satan. Mm -hmm. It's not just Shulk killing everything; Zanza it's everyone else doing a, having a role as well, holding up each other. Our destruction was always inevitable. Everything we did was meaningless. Are you certain? It was his will to revive you and use you as a host. Taking the Monado from Mayneth, doing with the world as he wishes. Everything was as he decided. But why is it that Zanza now... Shulk's like, oh, thank God that asteroid missed me. What is the need for this? That's because... He, in fact, has no choice but to do it. So played one has his own version of the endless not, now. He risks his entire yeah, I'm actually in Ionios right now. And we're the source of that risk. But why? It is a marvel to exist outside the passage of fate. 
the lives created by Zanza and Mayneth inevitably attempt to escape the passage of fate. This signifies the beginning of their destruction. Mayneth accepted this and entrusted the future of this world to you. Many times, your visions have allowed you to change the passage of fate. You saved the lives of those destined to die. I couldn't save everyone. Nothing that exists is Reposa. perfect. It is a sad truth, but you can learn from it exactly. and begin the journey on a new path. Exactly. Not Zanza's path, but one that you forge yourselves. Our own path. So, decide, Shulk. Will you walk the path laid out by Zanza? Yes! Oh wait, I mean, no! A new path. The Monado awaits you. Throw that up the hoodie. Always how it was going to be. If I'd wanted to walk the predetermined path, I wouldn't have come this far. Even with the odds stacked against us, even though I can't see the future, I'll keep walking. <laughs> My own path that I decide. Oh god, I can totally see that happening. Fiora, Rhine, Dunvan. Sharla, Melia, Ricky. We all feel the same. Well then, you must defy fate to succeed. Succeed. Aurora Borealis in your kitchen. And follow a new path. Alvis. Third semester boss needed one. Mm -hmm. Are you? You already know. You know what I am. And what? I am an Aegis, a core crystal. Awaken, my driver. Oh, this light's really hot! That's the job is you can't always save everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, plain wing Monado. Oh, which I actually like, not gonna lie. It works for certain, uh, appearances, in my opinion. It works for certain ones. Ricky never lose. Ricky protect Colony 6. Let's go, Ricky. Right. We can't let them get any further. That's really what you need. I want. Take them down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Rhine time. Juju's staying there as if he's gonna do fuck all. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, level 69, haha. <laughs> let's go. Ow. Come on, stab him with the spear. There we go, starlight kick. Boom. Ow. Hey, would one of my tanks like to do something? No? Okay, cool. Yeah, I know, I, had, I said focus targets. My tanks are useless, though. And this is what happens when I don't have Shulk in the party. Have we learned our lesson? And they all died that day. The end. Okay, focus targets apparently shit, so let's not do that. Come on, here we go. Here we go, Lariat! There we go, there we go. Little bit of damage. Ow. Oh yeah, now it's Rhine time. Come on. Oh, I'm powering up. 
Little bit of lightning. Come on. Little bit of lightning. Ow. Okay, good news can heal, though. Cut into Link forms back then, ha. Huh. Oh, Park, strength and unity. Okay, I have Shulk back now, please. Thank you. Meanwhile, Juju's like having the Lance of um, Gears of War. Oh my god, Vicky, okay. Bashed his head, why don't you? Why can't you do that for me? Yeah, true. Oh, there you go, Vine. Forget about the Monado, kid. More space between Zanza and us, the better. If Ryan's got time to sound off, we must be doing okay. We are doing. Had to do a bit of bands there. The dream team, the new family. Family. Vin Diesel looking on proud. We've chosen to fight the Bionis. We have to manage on our own. Dang. Giant laser beams. You gotta like it. If they can't even handle a few telepia, how do they expect to defeat me? This is not the end. Oh, yeah. I've just been trying to avoid the discussion, Morgan. I'll probably make a video on it in a couple of days, but... It's... It's interesting. Dunban! Also, hello, 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 Morgan. Welcome to the stream. Having a good day. It was a pleasure seeing you around. How much energy does she have in reserve? She has uh, separate batteries. Like on the bottom of a shoe, like Andy's, like... Signature Look and out. Toy Story. <sighs> Happened to Tyria, that'd be nice. Everything is going as Sansa planned. But our hearts and minds, they still hold the Without Shulk, Dunben has to ste step back into the role as leader. No matter how hard you try to break us. The future is ours to shape, Dixon. Always. When will you learn you have no future? Face it. Who is Andy? Oh, the guy from Toy Story. Oh no. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. There you go, Shulk. There you go, Shulk. Monado threw him. Boom. One, two, three. Hold that. Right in the skull. Up. Oh, leap in the air? Bring him down! Oh! Rules of nature! Oh, clean! I'm telling you, Metal Gear Rising did the exact same move. Wood for wood, bar for bar. Oh, badass. I got the wrong screenshot. Let's go, Shulk. Oh, the eyes are glowing. Oh, the dodge? Bob and Weave? Oh, 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 slashed him. That was awesome. That was awesome. Sorry for worrying you all. Hey, I got my Minato back. Shulk. Welcome back. Fiora. I heard everything while I was asleep. Melia, we have to report you to the authorities. Time for me to get my hands dirty. Relax, Dixon. Look out. Dino Beast. Oi, kid. It's about time for your final lesson. Dixon. Show me what you've got. You think you've got the power to oppose Lord Zanza? Let's see how you do against me. Oh, easily. Watch this. That'll be the easiest dub of my life. First of all, Vine, I love you. However, get the fuck out of my party. I feel like we gotta play it. Hold on. We gotta play as a dream team here. We gotta do it. Let's do it. We have to play as Shulk here. Gotta do it. Let's 
Let's do this. Let's do it. Here we go. From the side. There we go. There we go. Go to the back. Ow. Bad miss. There we go. So far, so good. So far, so good. Heal her up. There we go. A little bit of encouragement. Just let me take a uh, I know what I'm doing. I don't do that because I have my audio visualized on the screen. Let's go. Chain attack. Inflict break. Still not gonna work. Okay, let's inflict bleat. Let's go with Gale Slash, yeah? Fiora, your turn. Cannon drone. I love this move. Oh, yeah. Go full Gundam. Come on, we got this. We got this. Boom. Here we go. Okay. Killer die five on Fiora. Be even stupider. That'd be kind of funny, though. Okay, we can use shield. Get to this. Get over here. Apply our debuffs. Okay, it's okay. I can heal. Ow. Oh god, days. Get up, get up, get up. Move, move, move. Heal. Reduce aggro. Come on, we can do this. I need to save that. Over here. Move over here. Boom. Now we heal up Dunban. You damn right it is. Okay, Dunban managed to live. Good. Let's just heal up Shulk a little bit. Good. Gale Slash. Double Blade. Fine. We got a little. We got a heal out there. That's good. All right, Night Jared. Thank you for tuning in. Always glad you're seeing you around. Stay safe. We'll see you again next time. Oh. There we go. That's what I needed. I'm really feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Boom. Yeah, I do appreciate that, Divas. The speed is nice. Also, they're very simple. Which has its own charms. Shulk, how'd you do it? If I try and mech on I play the hell out of that too, GZ. I don't have the Monado. But it came to me, Ryan. He didn't need the Monado anymore. Nice one! He's like, oh yeah! We got a buff! <laughs> Bunch of ingrates. Oi! Stop hiding and get Feels so good. Out it's here. really nice. I don't appreciate being left to do all the hard work. Alvis! What? It can't be. Alvis. A betrayal? Yes. Question mark? Yeah. Another one of Lord Zanza's faithful. One of the Trinity. No. How can he be one of them? Alvis. Is this the only reason you served under my family? You traitor! They all start to doubt him. Alvin is like, I'm about to pull off a pro gamer move. Leave it. it doesn't matter what he is. That doesn't change anything at all. Because Shulk knows. Does it? Alvis. Yes. Precisely. You must find your own path to the future. But Alethia, he's so you're just another one of Sansa's lapdogs. Get ready, everyone. Show them no mercy. 
Hello, 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 Avian. Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna go there. It's a pleasure seeing you around. Let us see that will to survive. What? Shulk's gonna be angry once again in Xenoblade 3? True. The Elvis game, Elaine. Yeah, you're like, now I gotta focus up. Let's go. Chain attack immediate. Let's go. Hold this. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Topple him. Oh, it's just a thing of absolute beauty. We got a Daze Rockin' as well. Oh, you gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, we keep going. We keep moving. I like to move it, move it. Oh, Spear Blade, you know you love it. Boom. Nice little 37k dropped on him from above. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Dazed and down. Come on, I know I have another daze. Come on. Oh, I was close. I was born to rock and roll. Let's go with another air slash. Oh, we got it. Come on. Steel strike. Come on. Another days. Absolute bamboozlement occurring here on this boss. And you love to see it. Apply that. Oh, come on. Blossom dance. I gave you all the debuffs, Dunban. Born in a world of strife. And we told him again. Hold that out. Sack it! Oh my god, we were just rude there. Another one. Oh, another chain attack, you say? What the hell's the side of this thing? You know what? Let's just go full damage here. Oh, the damage. Oh, Wardley, slash! Come on. Cannon Jones, we gotta do it. Gotta do it to him. That did literally no damage. I think it missed. Honestly, it may have healed him. Oh my god. Come on, Monado Buster, for old time's sake. <laughs> Clean in two. Not so tough without your pet, are you? I'll show you the will to Oh, if I'm about to beat someone. Don't you dare, Dunk. Don't you dare, Dixon. There you go. Blocked it. Meddling kids. And you stupid dog. Will to fight. It is time to decide. What do you say? Does this world belong to you or to Zanza? Well, <laughs> either way is good with me. But I wonder what Zanza would say about it. He desires the same. And he sees everything, as you see, Shulk. It's like he says. The double entendre there. Get back here! You understand, don't you, Shulk? The glowy eyes. Yeah, you can bet on it. Good. I raised you well. We'll be on our best <laughs> yep. ah. And we will be the best guests you ever had. Ah, that's quite a good comeback. I'm impressed. <laughs> I like how that's what Dixon focuses on. Hey, he got a good comeback there. I'm trembling. Oh, he knows. He knows. I've done that JRPG grind. He's done. It's over for him. He's like, God, I'm not going to be the final boss, am I? After all these years, I never thought the day would come when I would feel fear. He knows I'm going to mess him up. Going to hit him with that right hook, the combo attack. Bob and weave. Dunban, have you seen Fiora? I 
I have. She said she was going out to get some air. Oh I god. She went far. Thanks. I'll take a look. I hope they do too, Uncle. I do. I hope that. I hope they get this VA back. Fiora, here you are. Oh, oh God, okay. this scene. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's so peaceful. It's hard to believe that we defeated a horde of Telethia just minutes ago. It's vital to my gaming experience. <laughs> Sansa wants to finish us all. So we can make the vision he's had come true. We're in the calm before the storm. They'll be back, won't they? The Telethia. To remove us all from this world. I won't let that happen. Whatever the future holds, we can never give in. Not to Zanza. No, not even to our destiny. Yeah, I hope we get more al outfits in Wave 4 as well. I'm not sure if he will. I wonder maybe in the DLC after Wave 4, maybe. Which part? Does this world belong to us or to Zanza? Uh, no one. It actually belongs to Riki. Why would he side with Okay, Zanza? Uncle, that's a bop. Power? Or maybe he wants to live forever. Who knows? But I don't think his motives are that simple. I'm sure Alvis has some kind of plan. The bonk stick, yeah. Yeah, I'm de I'm definitely gonna need the bonk stick. Otherwise, why would he speak to me in my dreams? He spoke to you in your dreams? That's a bit weird, isn't it? That's another reason why I have to find Zanza. I have to find out why. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a bonk, Est. That's a bonk. You and me both. I must fulfill Maynard's wish. How did my chat turn out to be so horny all the time on like such a consistent basis too? Shulk, you wanted to speak to me about something. Yes. That box of cereal that we had before this all started. Did you ever find the toy at the bottom of it? I really wanted to play with that thing. Oh, that's right. Lenarda's looking for you. She wants to examine you. She's back at Junks. Oh. Hey, um, can you go ah. ahead? I'll go and see Lenarda in a minute. I need a few minutes to myself. Okay, no Mario. Problem. Take your time. Says the guy who put 5 PNG females on his screen at once. Says the guy. Says the chat that donated for them. Hello? Oh, thank you. What can I do? If I go to Dude, the Mario. Arda, See, Mario's on my side. My body. Hi, Shulk, by the way. I was like, hey, wh I wonder where Shulk is. I just saw the beacon of light descending into the right there. I need to come up with a good excuse. Oh, please. Let me be with Shulk just a little bit longer. Zanza is inside the Bionis. I just know it. Dixon must be there as well. I don't know why I laughed doing that so much. <laughs> yes, and Alvis too. That's all good, but how do we get to them? Oh, we fly there, Ryan. Easy. They're inside the Bionis. We're gonna need to dig a pretty big hole. Yeah, we actually turned into a Minecraft stream real quick. Diggy, diggy hole. How long it take? We can get old soon. It just so happens I have the answer. We just fly there. On the Bionis chest is a massive hole that leads inside. It's the wound made by Agil's final attack. There you go, Agil. Imagine your fist cutting deeper than the sword dead. Oof. Then that means... 
God, I want the console outfits for NNM. Exactly, Deepest. I want those. Oh yeah, it's Ryan time. Ricky never lose. For Ricky family, Ricky win. We must show this god our unyielding will to survive. Exactly, Don Ban. The suffering of my people will not be in vain. The crimes against our friends will not go unpunished. Oh, you can tell we're nearing the end because everyone is saying the dialogue. Shulk. <laughs> Everyone's just going off about sum summing up their character development and the story just Providing a summation of all their stories and character development. For my family, for all that we've lost, the crimes against our friends will not go unpunished. Shulk! Ready. We go to the Bionis chest. We will free our world from Sansa's curse. Hey, cool, hey, cool news. Dunban leveled up. Okay, let's fix this. Okay, there we go. All right, let's put it to the poll. What do we want? I can't do all these options in a in one chat poll. And we'll probably be ending stream uh, well, will we? I don't know. Do we want to go really long tonight? Like, really, really, really? Uh... I will think of... I'll think about it. Hold on. Okay. Junk. We're not on one. An auto Rex or an auto three. I will not use that p other piece of shit. Okay, Paul's life. What are we going for? Do you care about your sleep schedule? Well, I mean, it's a good question. Oh God, Junks is winning. Hey, if anyone wants to pick an auto Rex, I'm gonna be fine with that. If like, you just want to, like, pile on the Monado Rex, I'm just saying. We can go with this piece of shit. Or, go badass with this one. Yeah? The one that'll be in the DLC. I'm just saying. Yeah, look how cool it is. It's got spikes and everything. Looks like Piva Sword. Oh, cool. Someone said Monado 1. OG, you know what? I respect it. We got five votes. Five votes. Oh, Monado. Monado Vex got another one. Oh, it's coming down to the wire, people. Six votes are in. Still plenty more to count, though. Which direction do we go? Junks is winning. This is what. Oh, it's tied. It's tied between Monado Vex and Junk. It's tied between this and this. Which one do we go for, though? Which are we going for? The cool ass sword, or this pile of dog shit. Oh, it's tied. Oh, it's coming down. It's coming down to the wire, people. It's coming down to. Oh, Junks took the lead. Junks took the lead. It's up by one. It's up by one vote, people. It is up by one. Count, count them one. Count them one vote. It's tied again. Monado Vex tied it up. Stop influencing the voters. <laughs> It's all tied up. It's all tied up, people. Could next vote decide it? Could one more vote? One more vote decide it? Junks took it. Junks took it. I'll give it a few seconds. I'll give it a few seconds. If it's not... If we don't get another tie in the next few seconds. Five. Ooh. Ooh. Any... Any last ones? I'm ending it. Calling it! 
I'm calling it. Junks won. Junks has spoken. We go with the pile of dog shit. This ugly ass sword. The starter weapon. Thank God we're not playing a shulk though. And now the piece de resistance. Okay, there we go. Bring in Riki. There we go. Okay, now we roll. Now we roll. Let's move, people. I'm joking. I'm just joshing all of you. I'm just playing around. Ready to fly into the Bionis. Shall we head there now? Fly to the Bionis interior. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to do another poll. When do we beat Xenoblade 1? Do we go long today or do we beat it tomorrow? Another poll going out in chat. It's the inside of the Bionis. I'm not comfortable with what we're standing on. It looks quite different from when we entered via the marsh. The Bionis is regaining its biological functions. Must be because Zanza woke it up. By the way, I'll pick the winner by the end, of, maybe by the end of this cutscene, by the time we go to the news zone, it'll be one of the two. You'll need sleep! <laughs> like how Evie is just like, screw the story, you all need to fix your sleep schedule. Oh, go along, today's winning by one vote. It's winning by one vote. I'm going to keep this one up for a little bit. I need to do a save real quick. <laughs> Should I misclick? Okay, you know what? Hold on. Este, since you misclicked, I'll just re I'll just do the poll again. I'll I'll give you another chance. This is gonna be the last one though. Never say I'm not caring. Just put, just be as selfish as you all want to be. It's fine. To get it one while live, honestly, mood. Uh, the little sloshing sound when we're in here. Oh, oh, that sound effect. I I redid the poll, by the way, everybody, because someone because someone in chat misclicked, so I redid the poll. Today or tomorrow, do we want to finish Xenoblade 1? Oh, I just realized we can do, probably do the Collectopedia. How much do we have for this? Bit of veg. I mean, do we have a decent amount here. Not a lot. How late it is it for you? I will say I'm somewhere in NA. We could get some Z's, huh? I will say this, if we do if we do go tomorrow and it does turn out to be a short stream, I will do Xenoblade 1 post game as well. So we'll do that. Although we might even start another new game plus, cause I kinda wanna do all the side quests and I kinda messed that up for this for this run. Someone clicked on today. I'll let the poll go for a little bit here. <laughs> you look well, your highness. That voice. Come on, if we if we are gonna end it for the day, we need to leave it on a cliffhanger. Show yourself. Yes, somewhere on Earth. Yeah, I'm actually subterranean. He lives between the look North that. Pole and the South Pole. The is all we know. True. The the pulsating life of Lord Zanza. Quit your yapping and show yourself. I'm actually completely AI. You've just been an elaborate long con. I await your highness here. 
There is something I wish to show. This fucking jabroni. Your friends are welcome to join you. That is, if they survive. He's an AI tuba. Ha. Actually explains the AI visual the voice visualizer. Lorithea, what are you planning? I was all one elaborate social experiment. Forget her for now. We must push onto the heart. Actually, you remember Destiny Island from Kingdom Hearts 1? I'm actually there. Alright. But specifically in the time period between the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 1 and the end of, of Kingdom Hearts 1. Okay, so I... Well... Are we staying with tomorrow? Any last votes? Because I'm about to end the poll. Okay. You know what? I'm calling it. Yeah? Streamer's choice. We're calling it. We do it tomorrow. She mulls us the friends we made along the way. Yeah, it's actually the long con here. Okay, everybody. We're going to call the stream there for the day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, we beat Xenoblade Chronicles 1. On New Game Plus. We beat it. We annihilate this game. We have the levels. We have the skill. We have the builds. We have everything we need to beat the game tomorrow. I'm going to call the stream there for the day. Thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure making the video and the stream. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and up support future content. And I greatly appreciate it. Good night, Mario. Good night, Hugh. Good night, Debus. Good night, Evian. Good night, Esther. Good night, Hugh. Good night, Debus. Good night, everybody. Thank you all for tuning in. Or good day to you, depending on where you are. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. Tomorrow, we beat the game. And then the day after that... I'll give you a little bit of a hint for the day after tomorrow. For the stream for the day after tomorrow, I might add. If you know this, you'll know. <clears throat> oh! Arise now! Ye tarnished! For those who know, you know. Maybe the meaning can be found somewhere in the lands between, though. Thank you all for tuning in. Stay safe. Hope to, hope to see you all again next time. And as always, bye bye, everybody. Oh, by the way, just as a point of clarification, Elden Ring, I have beaten it already, but we'll be doing another playthrough of it. I have not beaten all the bosses. That playthrough, we're doing all the bosses. Every boss in Elden Ring will fucking fall. By my hand, and our hand collectively.